But I have something uh, interesting also to ask you as another yeah. data point to track. So you pointed out buy box. Yeah. I will suggest to you that average order value does not really tell you the full story. You know what tells you the full story? Average order value in comparison to average item value. Yeah. Because if you think about it, if an item costs $38 and your average order value is 51, what does that tell you? Yeah, there's something else in the cart or something else going on. No, well, people are buying multiple pieces. Yeah, true. So, so really, if you tracked the difference between average order value and average item value, the greater the, the, the difference, the better you are performing. Because that yeah. means people are they are they they are choosing to buy more quantity than just one piece at a time, right? True. Yeah. There's there's also some like you know simple simple metrics in there like average selling price ASP, which will tell you pretty pretty quickly at that product level like you know for each one of this item sold, what is the average price that it goes for? Um, so if I'm trying to look at or or have like receptors on. Uh, if there's changes happening outside of what I have said, like I shouldn't be expecting my ASP to be dropping right now. So what's going on? Um, that's just like another metric. Obviously average order value is one thing that's maybe a little bit more for like a D to C Shopify site where a better metric for, for Amazon is like your average selling price of a product. So you can see, see that over time. And then, if you want to do basket analysis, there's again some some great uh, exports that you can pull out of out of your brand analytics to do some market basket analysis to see, you know, customers who bought this product, what else was in their cart outside of just did they buy two of these or three of these? Because obviously you own that thing, so you can see that number. But to see what else is being bought with it can be pretty cool too. Yeah, I think the, so. The average selling price. That is across multiple items, right? Multiple different SKUs, right? That's what it, it will come down to at the end. Um, I don't believe so. I've, I I do believe it's down to the the like individual child ASIN level. Um, but one thing I will say you have to kind of watch out for is if you're selling that B two B and B two C, you could you know, and you're aggregating that together from those two sales, um, that could kind of like throw a false flag in your ASP being yeah, yeah. quite low. Yeah, B, yeah, B2B, yeah, B2B needs to be separated. Well, B, B2B needs to be looked at separately. Otherwise, it shows yeah. already. Your, uh, yeah, sales. it can be helpful when you're looking at units. But yeah, for stuff like your, your sales price, it can definitely muddy the water. So it's good to have that context or separate those things so that you don't get them confused or, yeah. or think so, that your product's uh, going for wholesale.